Last time we got started getting our image count, so that now we have the number of images that are going to be inserted by any particular user. Now we're ready to start getting started with the Firebase storage. So the first thing we need to do is get the Firebase storage dependency. So we can just go Android, Android Firebase storage, and probably click this one. You can also get it from the Android uh, help thing. Uh, I don't know if it's going to show the dependency here. This kind of just outlines actually what you need to do. Oh, let me get started. Yeah, here we go. So here's the Firebase dependency for Firebase storage. So we can just copy that, go to our project, and you can also get it from the from the assistant. So go Android, actually, sorry, go Firebase, and that'll open up the assistant over here, and we can go to storage and upload file from storage. And if we click this, remember that it was messing up our Gradle when we were adding it. So if you want to just type this in manually, that's fine. Or, oh, you can actually copy it, so that works too. So we can copy this dependency and just hit cancel. And then we're going to go to our build.gradle app folder. And let's type Firebase storage, paste that in. And just make sure that you copy the exact same version that you're using in all the others. And then we can hit sync. So now we have, it says right here, dependencies are set up correctly for Firebase storage. So we can close the assistant. Or if you want to take a look, you can kind of just follow the instructions here and it shows you how you can upload a file, how you can download a file and kind of other stuff. And that'll take you to the documentation. But I already have the documentation open as we already saw here. And I find the documentation is a much better reference than the tool itself. There's a lot more details and it tells you kind of what to do, what not to do. I uh, definitely uh, suggest taking a look at the documentation if you have any extra time, but I'm going to show you how to do everything that you need to know how to do. So let's close the build.gradle app full file, and now what we need to create this method to upload it to the Firebase database. So basically when we click on the share button, that's when, when we're going to want to execute this method. So in other words, let's print a toast that says uh, attempting to upload new photo and then down here we'll do our firebase methods dot uh, we'll call it upload I guess just call it upload new photo and we're gonna we need to think carefully about what we're, we gotta pass it here because not only are we gonna be uploading new photos from the share screen so from next activity but we're also gonna be uploading new photos when we change our profile photo because as you remember if we look at our firebase database uh, we go into the clone, go into storage, photos, users, choose a user. We also have this profile photo here. So every time the user changes their profile, we're also going to need to upload a new photo for that. So we're going to have a, basically a couple cases, and we can denote those two cases with a string. So the first thing that we want to pass here is we can just pass, and we don't even need the user ID actually because that'll be accessible in Firebase methods. So the first thing we want to pass is we're going to go uh, get string r dot string dot this is going to be new photo. That's going to be the very first parameter we pass. So let's go into strings and where are we going to put this? Let's make a new section here and we'll call it photo types and there's just going to be two strings total. So one and two and this is going to be new photo and then this one is going to be profile photo and it doesn't matter what we put in here we can just put those and these are going to be our two cases for either changing the profile photo or for uploading a brand new photo so let's close that and now that red goes away and what else are we going to need here we're going to need the description which we don't have yet which we'll get from that field and we'll also need the image count for sure and we're going to need the image URL itself. So let's work on getting the description first. So string description is going to equal, I don't even have that yet, so we're going to create an edit text field for that. So let's go up here and do widgets and do uh, private edit text Actually, I should call it caption, I guess. M caption, and let's change this to caption. Caption also, change that to caption. And we need private string image URL also. 
and those are going to be the fields uh, and the caption. This is going to be m caption get text get text to string, and we need to instantiate that edit text field here. So m caption equals edit text. Uh, find view by r to id dot caption probably. I can't remember what I named it. Let's check the old layout here. So this is going to be activity next. And let's see here. I call it description. I probably should have called this caption. So I changed that to caption in case you guys didn't see that. And now I'm going to change that to caption. And there we go. Okay, so that's all we need. Now we need to go into our Firebase methods and create this method upload new photo. So let's go into Firebase methods and we'll create a new method public. So public, it's just going to be void because the way Firebase uploads images, it actually automatically does an async task so it runs in the background so we don't need to return anything we don't need to say it's complete along the way basically I'm gonna post out a toast message that tells the user what percentage along it is but uh, I won't talk too much about that let's just do it and you can see it when we finish it here so upload new photo and we need to pass the string uh, photo type And then string caption and we have integer I guess we're gonna just call it count and what else we need a string of the image URL and I believe that was it that goes away now so uh, type caption count URL so type caption count URL and then let's log it so um, attempting to upload a new photo and we're gonna need an if statement to handle the two cases so case one is the image is a new image I guess no new photo and then I guess case two would just be new profile photo so else if uh, what is it photo type equals get context get string r at string dot uh, this is going to be profile photo and let's copy that throw that in there and this one's going to be new photo okay so now we're getting into kind of new territory we're going to actually make this firebase storage object and now we're going to learn how to use it but before we do that we're going to need to actually create a new file path so let's go into our file paths here because we need to specify where in the database or where in the, in the storage location it's going to be stored. So we're going to create a URL or a, a uh, location for that, a location string. So Firebase image storage, we'll call it. And this is going to be photos slash users. Uh, if you recall from here, let's go back. And the folder is photos and then users, and then this is where it's gonna change because it's gonna depend on the user ID. So photos and users, now let's go back into Firebase methods. Let's actually create that, so, oops, um, file paths, file paths, is this new file paths. And now we can create that, um, I guess I could log it, the fact that we are uploading a new photo. New, new photo. And then here I could just log uploading new profile photo and I'm just going to create the Firebase storage object and then we're going to move on to the next video so we're going to create a storage reference and just call it storage reference equals and I don't even have the storage object I need to create that first so let's go up into the top here we need to go private something storage storage reference m storage reference and then we need to instantiate that storage reference. So storage reference equals Firebase storage dot get instance and then get reference. And so that's gonna be our storage reference. And then we go down here and we use that storage reference to reference where we're gonna store it in the database. So we go uh, m storage reference and then child. And then here's where we actually pass our path to the location that we wanna store it in. So that's what we're gonna do file paths and do our Firebase image storage. And th then we specify what user is gonna be using it basically. So I can do uh, Firebase, well, I can create a user ID. So let's just go 
uh, user ID. I don't want to use the global one. Let's use user ID and do uh, string user ID equals Firebase auth get instance get current user get UID. That way it's local to this. Just in case there's a problem with the global one, I just want to make sure that we're getting the correct user ID. It's very important. And then it'll be in the photo folder. And then we take our image count here. So I guess just count and then add one because we want to add one more image to it. And that's going to be it. So this defines the location in storage where we store it and then what the image is actually going to be named. So just one more time, let's take a look at the storage. Let's click on user and then that this is where our photos are going to be named, just like I have defined right here. So you can see the first one will be photo one and then everyone after photo two, photo three, photo four, and so on. So I'm going to stop the video here and in the next one we're going to carry on working with uploading our first image.